experience the heart-pounding terror and incredible wonder of China's $26 billion hydropower project as we take you on a cinematic journey that will leave you gasping for air and question everything you thought you knew about engineering and nature. The world was left stunned when China unveiled its massive $26 billion hydropower project, hailed as a game-changer for renewable energy. But what lies beneath the surface of this engineering marvel will send shivers down your spine, as controversy and terror have plagued its construction, and its environmental impact has raised serious concerns. Join us as we unravel the gripping tale of China's hydropower project that shook the world to its core. Chinese engineers have started an amazing project in which they are building massive dams at an unprecedented rate, breaking all prior records in human history. Their continuous dedication to using renewable energy has led to the construction of buildings much larger than the legendary Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam, which has an impressive height of 221 meters and can generate over 2,000 megawatts of electricity, is dwarfed by China's incredible accomplishments in terms of scope. 2008 saw the completion of construction of the renowned Three Gorges Dam, a significant achievement. This enormous construction, which spans the powerful Yangtze River for an astounding mile and a half, produces electricity on a scale 10 times greater than the Hoover Dam. However, China's most recent discovery is going to change how we think about what is feasible in the field of hydroelectric power. In November 2020, China made a historic announcement outlining its ambitious plan to build a remarkable super hydroelectric power project in Tibet. The Brahmaputra River, which flows downstream from India, will be the site of this groundbreaking initiative. The perfect location for what will likely be the biggest dam in history is hidden inside the foothills of the beautiful Himalayas. China's 14th five-year plan, a roadmap that elegantly explains the country's broad, social, economic, and development objectives, has carefully incorporated its inception. With these massive dams, is China going to be the hub of the world's largest hydropower projects? And what will be the impact of these on the Earth's normal rotation? We will discuss it shortly. The design for the 50-meter-tall hydroelectric dam on the Great Bend of the Brahmaputra is still a closely guarded secret. Reliable media reports identify the organizations working on its construction as Power China, a Chinese state-owned company, and the Tibet Autonomous Region Administration. When this dam is finished, it will likely produce an astounding 60 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. Surprisingly, this quantity generates more power than the legendary Three Gorges Dam does, more than three times as much. Though its authorities continue to express serious concerns, India's reaction to this proposed project is one of worry. Delhi has said that it is thinking about building a 10 gigawatt dam to manage water supplies in a bold move to match China's massive undertaking. Southern Tibet is the starting point of the Yarlung Sengpo, a prominent international river, on an amazing 2,900-kilometer trip. Its source is in southwest China's Qinghai Tibet Plateau, and before entering India, it cuts away across the majestic Himalayas. It takes the name Brahmaputra once it reaches the southernmost state of the subcontinent. A few of the river's branches originate in China, while others do so in Bhutan. South Asia still desperately needs development in a place where poverty is rife. In order to advance their development objectives, all parties involved are actively looking for methods to capitalize on the Brahmaputra's enormous potential. The constraints of managing their shared water resources, however, have not abated tensions between China and India. For both China and India's economies, the Brahmaputra River, which runs through both countries' centers, is of utmost significance. There is no denying the significance of this river, which accounts for 40% of India's hydroelectric potential and 30% of its freshwater supplies. China acknowledges the Brahmaputra's importance to Tibet's agricultural, energy, and cultural industries while not being largely dependent on it for freshwater supply. Both countries' populations are increasing, which is putting more pressure on their water supplies. The Mindung County hydropower project is being built by China for what reason? The Tibet Autonomous Region's sustainable development, according to Chinese officials, is promoted by this as a key element of their green energy projects. China wants to promote growth while minimizing its impact on the environment. Therefore, it is working to become carbon neutral by 2016. Both countries gain from protecting this shared resource, which boosts economic growth and promotes a more environmentally friendly future. Hey, wait, wait. Till now, are you stunned with the rapid growth of Chinese hydropower capabilities? So before proceeding to the next section and having more insights, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more engineering marvels. Now let's continue.
It is beyond debate that China's exceptional success in harnessing the Yarlung Chengpo River's energy is a tribute to its dedication to clean energy and water, and water security. China is on track to reach record-breaking outcomes since three significant dams are now being built. The most recent construction, which is larger than its forerunners, has the incredible ability to produce 60 gigawatts of power, which is more than the Three Gorges Dam. Accordingly, it is possible to generate 300 billion kilowatt hours yearly of clean, renewable, and carbon-free energy. The Honorable CEO of the Power Construction Corporation of China, Yang Zhedong, claims that this outstanding achievement will not only help Beijing reach its clean energy goals, but also strengthen water security. Although traditionally a source of conflict and mistrust, the continued competition between China and India about water and growth may find resolution in these enormous steps towards sustainable development. The building of hydropower and water diversion projects by China on the upper levels of the Brahmaputra River has generated considerable controversy. China has drawn attention and caused alarm by changing the river's course and flow. Surprisingly, while occupying only a part of the basin, China drains a sizable 22 to 30 percent of it. China has the power to affect the downstream water supplies since it owns the upstream land. Beijing argues that the dam won't affect river flow in any way and would just provide hydroelectricity, but New Delhi is unconvinced. New Delhi has attempted to set up control processes for China's riverbank operations and defend its prior use rights in an effort to allay these worries, but with little success. Unfortunately, there isn't a formalized international forum for cooperation on this issue. Therefore, formal communication between the two countries is very restricted. In addition, the ongoing territorial dispute between China and India makes things more difficult. The eastern Himalayas are shared by both countries, especially the territory known as Arunachal Pradesh, which China refers to as South Tibet. Over a million people live in this disputed region, which is 89,000 square kilometers in size. The conflict has seriously eroded government-to-government -government trust, especially where the two countries' shared borders are concerned. It is impossible to ignore the potential effects of building a dam of this size. The huge building has the potential to obstruct the river's normal flow, which would result in a worrisome buildup of silt downstream. As a result, the agricultural conditions in the neighboring areas are seriously threatened. Upstream dam construction has far-reaching effects that could be harmful to the areas below. Despite China's assertion that it will use a run-of-the-river method for its hydropower project, scientists warn that this could interrupt the water flow downstream during dry spells. India also expresses worry, especially when the northeastern regions like Azam are devastated by floods during the monsoon season. Under these conditions, China's release of water from the dam might have disastrous effects on the already saturated Assam region. It is important to recognize that China has a particular advantage because of its upstream location, which makes it possible to build dams and other infrastructure to control the river's flow. There is a real chance of seeing a dramatic change in the flow rate during diplomatic deadlocks between the two nations, aggravating the situation further. China is compelled by agreements with India to exchange river hydrological data during the crucial monsoon months of May to October. The water level is the main topic of this important information, which is used as an important early warning system for impending floods in low-lying locations. A prolonged border dispute between China and India in 2017 prevented crucial information about the amount of water flowing from China's dams from getting through. Despite the fact that data sharing has resumed in 2018, India has grounds to believe that China is still withholding important data. Further complicating matters because of its physical location, the Himalayan region is vulnerable to earthquakes and other seismic phenomena. As a result of the extensive infrastructure initiatives in this region, the people downstream face an immediate threat. The Himalayan region is very important since it is the only place on Earth where numerous endangered plant and animal species may be found. Tragically, because of the negative effects of climate change, which are leading to the rapid melting of glaciers, the delicate Himalayan environment is already on the verge of collapse. The problems are already complicated by deforestation, soil erosion, and landslides. The threat of an ecological catastrophe looms over this environmentally vulnerable region if China and India move forward with their joint dam plans. India has properly urged China to take into account the interests of countries downstream and to balance the negative consequences brought on by the Chinese dam. India is considering building a 10 gigawatt hydropower project as part of its own ambitions in the Daibang Valley of, of Arunachal Pradesh. So do you think that both countries are on the brink of a potential war due to the water management crisis? 
Let's have a discussion on this in the comments section and keep watching this channel for more informative content.